1988, a joint Spanish-Indonesian endeavor introduced the high-wing CN-235, propeller-driven tactical transport aircraft and 273 were eventually built under the CASA IPTN brand label. A new initiative then saw the twin turboprop system revised into the C-295 with a lengthened fuselage, six whole frames added, three forward and three aft, which has increased internal hauling capacity by 50%. To contend with the added weight gains, new Pratt & Whitney PW-127G series turboprops have been installed, the wings reinforced, and the undercarriage strengthened. Additional fuel stores have also been added to increase operational ranges. The cockpit uses four LCDs, liquid crystal displays, and supports NVG, night vision gear, and HUDs, head-up displays. The C-295 began development in November of 1996 and was unveiled during the Paris Air Show the following year with introduction in 2001 through the Spanish Air Force. The aircraft remains in active service with over a dozen air forces the world over. A prototype first flew on November 28, 1997 to prove the design sound and production has been ongoing since 1997 with over 100 units delivered. The Beechcraft King Air is a utility platform developed from the Beechcraft Queen Air of 1958. It continues to see flying time despite its Cold War era roots. A prototype saw its first flight in May of 1963 and the series was introduced on September 9 of 1964. Since then, some 3,100 examples have been produced and many offshoots have appeared for both military and civilian roles. The King Air was born as the company Model 120 in 1961. The Bell Model 412 has proven a popular mount across the world with operators from Algeria and Argentina to Venezuela and Zimbabwe. Beyond its stated military and civilian market value, the helicopter has proven equally successful as a governmental-level VIP staff transport for many nations as well. Some police and firefighting services make use of the type, such as its versatility. The Ilyushin Il-76 heavy transport was debuted in the early 1970s, entered service in the mid-1970s and is still operating today, some 36 years after its inception. At any rate, the Il-76 has proven something of a success story worldwide with an estimated 960 examples delivered. The airframe has also become highly adaptable to the needs of its clients in varying roles.